Right, demonstration of the basic setup of the X-ray transformer based high voltage power supply. Here we have a variac plugged into the standard AC socket. Variac output is connected through a primary ballasting adapter which is outfitted with the standard AC plug. This is connected to a 750 watt space heater which provides a resistive load in the primary and prevents uh, current um, drawn off the mains from getting too high in the event of an, that an arc is drawn from the output. The output of the ballasting adapter goes to the e-stop button which will shut off power to the transformer. The transformer then has two separate hookups. The one here goes directly to the transformer primary coils through these two bolt connections that go through the top of the bucket. The other goes through the phase angle controller. You can either use the phase angle controller or a variac to control output power from the transformer. If you're using just the phase angle controller, you would plug the AC power source into the phase angle controller hookup and you would provide the phase angle controller with a 24 volt AC reference which you can get off of a small um, 24 volt AC adapter which would plug into the banana socket on top. This would provide phase reference for the SCR to trigger off of. You would then also supply a 0 to 5 volt control signal uh, if required. The uh, control signal input can be changed via changing the uh, dip switches on the phase angle controller so you can use a potentiometer, current input, etc. Right now this is configured for 0 to 5 volt input for 0 to 100 percent output. The transformer also has a current divider which is a 100 ohm resistor in series with the secondary ground out of the rectifier. This will provide a, a signal off of the current output BNC connector. There's also a voltage output BNC connector which you can connect to a high voltage probe if you have one. This voltage output, the uh, shell is connected to this ground banana jack. The center is connected to this um, banana jack. If you have a high voltage probe such as a Fluke 80 kV probe, the banana jack connector can plug into that socket and the voltage output will be given on this BNC. The output connectors here, both of these are tied together internally electrically. These are connected to the negative output of the bridge rectifier uh, on the transformer secondary. The transformer has a maximum output of 50 kV peak and maximum output of 30 milliamps. It should be noted that X-ray transformers are not designed to run continuously at such high currents and running it continuously at 30 milliamps or so will uh, cause damage to the transformer by thermally overheating the windings. I've run this transformer successfully in, uh, for extended periods of time in the 5 milliamp uh, or 10 to 10 milliamp range. And other things to note, the rectifier diode outputs are right next to the case, so try to avoid putting metal objects on the top of the case. These high voltage output connectors are uh, plastic swage lock connectors. Each of them on the inside has been modified to outfit it with a standard banana jack. You can plug a standard banana jack such as the one on the provided high voltage cable to the output and these have the standard swage lock ferrules so if you have a banana jack out with, um, with a high voltage cable that has a 3 8 um, um, cladded uh, Teflon cable this ferrule will compress on the cable and hold it securely in place in the high voltage connector. It should be noted that that's not an electrical insulation connector not electrically insulating, it is simply uh, mechanically holding the connector in place so when the high voltage is on obviously do not get anything metal near the output of the connectors and do not touch the um, or put your hands near the outputs of the transformer because it may uh, jump it, at such high voltages it can obviously jump between the uh, center conductor and your hand. As a basic overview of the basic setup so it can be run with or without the primary ballast. 
Without the primary ballast, it's going to start to draw very high currents when an arc is drawn. So it's useful to have something like a space heater or a lamp in place when you're first testing it. When I was running this with uh, my fuser, initially I was using the ballast. However, um, when actually running with the neutron runs, the primary ballast was removed. It's always useful to have the e-stop button, which will disconnect a transformer power uh, closely at hand when running without the ballast if it starts to arc internally inside your vacuum chamber.